The Naruto Storm series has a problem, and it's because of you. My issue is not with the game themselves, but more so their current existence in this modern day age. The last mainline Storm game was in 2016, that being Storm 4, and the gameplay pretty much peaked at that point, and it was already stated that that would be the last game in the Storm series. Seven years later, and we received the poorly received Naruto Storm connections. Now I know during that seven year time period, people actually wanted a new Storm entry, but it's seven years too late. They did little to change the formula, and it felt like more of a progression in the storm entries. My problem is not that the game existed, but more so its semi-success. We don't know official sales figures for this game in all platforms, but at least for Steam, during its initial launch, within the first 10 days or so, it achieved like $2 million of revenue, which is $2 million more million than it should have occurred. The point being that because people are buying and playing this game, it gives Bandai the initiative to push more into the Storm series. Now, I know we all like the Storm series, right? And you know, if you do enjoy enjoy the games then feel free to play them I'm not disputing that at all but again seven years since the last storm game you know we are looking for a sort of change I, at least I would assume most Naruto fans will be looking for sort of a change we don't need a new storm game every single year or every other time a Naruto game is about to drop I know a lot of people enjoyed Shinobi Strikers that game sold incredibly well but I can't really speak on it myself I haven't really played that game but at least it was something different in the Naruto series and it was in the right direction as to what fans I should be publishing. But again, the next mainline quote unquote Naruto game being Storm Connections, it definitely ruffled some feathers when this was announced, especially with it being sort of a retrend of the old Naruto games, redoing the bosses even in a worse way, a story mode which was cool in my opinion, like good enough for the actual story, but the gameplay loop of just fighting boss or fighting characters and just bosses like you normally would it, it didn't change up anything the gameplay in of itself sort of regressed with how it changes like some of the tilts and like jutsus the lack of like a good character roster like we're seeing multiple versions of naruto and sasuke you know in of itself i don't think is bad because that's what a game like sparking zero does but what's different about that is that it's unique as opposed to storm all that combined it just makes me not endorse the idea of more storm games this goes into my next point as to what they're planning to do with the Naruto games now and currently what seems to be happening is that they're implementing the Storm games into mobile devices. Now I made a video about this already that being Storm 1 being ported into mobile devices and a lot of you took offense with me not caring for this game to be released on mobile devices. I want to state for the record that I think it's fine that it's released for mobile devices. I have no real issue with that in general but I'm looking for something new. Me personally and for older Naruto fans this is not something that we generally care for now again i even mentioned in that video if you're an older naruto fan who just for whatever reason wants to play the games again on mobile devices i mean go right ahead your money but where's the new content like what are we true like we're fiending right now okay that that was my main thing but i know bandai deems storm to be successful and they're just gonna push that to the forefront like they know storm is gonna sell well and they're gonna just make as much money as they can with it they don't need to try something new but the issue is it's going to get stale at a point now the mobile stuff that's sort of whatever if they want to port all the games that's fine we have another platform to play the games cool but again if that's the only thing that's coming out for the naruto games then we have a problem we're not getting anything new we're not getting anything that's going to appease the older naruto fans they're just doing this for money and if we allow this to continue happening where we just keep on playing these older games that's all bandai namco is going to think that we really care for or even if they don't a they're you know you know they're just they're paying for older stuff we don't really need to try so who cares we don't want these companies to think that we want something new in general you can't sit there and tell me that oh all i want to play is storm like if, if you generally do i mean more power to you but like i don't feel like pressing b all day to, to, to do combos you know what i mean like i want to do something more again i didn't play shinobi strikers i didn't really care to but at least that's something new that i could have tried and you know i've been more so excited or joyful that there's something new to for me to try out and, and to attempt i'm not gonna be wanting to play storm all the time i'm done with storm and, until another one comes out eventually and then i have to make a review but the point is storm existing at this point in time is pointless to me and if you guys disagree sound it off in the comments but let me know why do you think storm should still exist again i'm not gonna care for the mobile games like those those are fine to go to mobile devices it's another platform to you know to put to, to play the game like especially for older ones again smartphones i know people were arguing that in the last video say what you want about that it doesn't really matter it's more so just getting these games on multiple platforms multiple streams and you know just getting it out there and that's what they're trying to do for money and it seems to be working for them i just want to put in perspective that if we keep on supporting their ideology of just indulging in the storm content 
they're really not going to get anything new. A prime example being, for example, Mario Kart 8. That game was already released on the Wii U and was ported over to the Nintendo Switch for more success. And because of that game's success, it's literally one of the most successful Nintendo games, period. They're not putting a Mario Kart 9 and they're probably waiting for a Switch 2 or whatever. But you get my point. They're hounding on the DLC because they know people are just going to play that and buy that and they're just going to be reusing assets, old courses. It's easy for them. Another example, and this may be more uh, apparent for all of us in this day and age, GTA, for example. GTA 5 is still thriving to this day and that game came well over a decade ago. We're just getting GTA 6. Six and, and just barely that's coming out next year and it's only I don't want to say it's only because I'm sure they're taking their time with this game but a, a, a lot has to deal with the fact that for GTA 5 it's such a powerhouse for people playing online and buying those game sharks that Rockstar is probably thinking to themselves well we don't need to put that much effort into a new GTA because people are still into the old GTA we as consumers need to push boundaries into letting the, the companies know hey we want this so please provide us us the content that we truly deserve we don't need to be stuck with old content for the remainder of our lives and we as people as consumers we can help dictate that another prime example i know i'm bringing other sources but for example the sonic movie the initial trailer with the old sonic design was terrible but we everyone hated that design we voiced our opinion and they listened and they changed it for the better we have the power to do the same with these naruto games right and i'm not saying this is the full-blown solution uh, i'm not saying that at all but at least from my perspective and what i'm thinking right now just don't indulge with the storm content now to be honest i'm no better i bought storm connections now again that was primarily for the sake of this channel so i can make my review on the game hopefully to change my mind but had it not been for that i wouldn't have bought this game that being said I did buy the game. I contributed that $60 and that's $60 more in their pocket. But the point of that review is to let people know this game is not good and no one should really buy it. But at the end of the day, it's your money, your time you want to spend. If you want to play these storm games, go right ahead. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be more so advocating for newer products so that we can stimulate our brains in a different way. I will be bored with storm. I'm already bored of Storm, and I'm sure a lot of people are too, so I'm just voicing that so we can all band together and hope and wish for more. But that's how I personally feel and how I think things should go about, but let me ask you guys. What do you think of the state of Naruto games right now? Are you perfectly fine out where it is? Do you think Storm should continue, or do you think we should have something more? I want to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see me talk more positively about an anime game, click the card you see here, which will take you to my video on my review on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I'm the Curly Hokage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.